guys! We are having a mini trip to Bandung with the chickens in the family. So I am born in a year of the first star and so is my auntie and my cousin. So we're just all traveling there together as a chicken family thing. <laughs> We are at KLIA 2 and the good thing about this airport is that it's just newly made and it's one of the biggest um, shopping malls that is like combined with the airport in Asia which is really nice. It's good for those you know who has like a transit to just come over and just look at star or waiting for the next flight. So before checking off, we had like some light snacks with some cakes and lasagna. So I'm really looking forward to this trip. It's because I can bond with my cousin and bond with my auntie and have a really good time with them in Indonesia. <laughs> Look guys, I found Lion. This is Tiger Airways' friend. So I'm currently in a private tour right now um, that my auntie arranged. We're gonna go for some shopping, which is gonna be awesome. <laughs> what kind of car sign says bye? That's weird. So we just been shopping at Rumah Mood and we got pretty good deals there from like Zara and Forever 21. So we headed off for a dinner next. So it's called the Stone Cafe and I really like it because it has a, like a live band. I'm currently having dinner now at this place called the Stone Cafe and it's really cool because we have like our own private little hearts ourselves and yeah, hopefully the food is good and there's like a live band playing over there. So before in the car, I was like, oh, it would be so cool if you played Sugar because that's like my favorite new song. And the guy is actually playing Sugar now. So I'm really, really happy. So this is insanity. This is the first time that I see a waiter sheltering food instead of himself. Surusia, are you hungry? Yes. Yeah, we're both really hungry so we can't wait to eat. <laughs> so I tried some strawberry tea which I really really like and my cousin tried chamomile tea. And this is the overall meal for tonight. Yummy yummy! I sincerely loved the stuffing in my cousin's chicken. It was really good. Headed off to Sheraton after that. Look at how massive the chair is. So we are at Sheraton right now and oh my god, my auntie got us like a suite. So it looks so, so pretty. Um, I really like it. We have like our own kitchen, our own living room and like a massive like bed with like really cute bathroom, like with like a bathtub. Oh my god, if I knew earlier, I could have got myself a bathroom from Lush, but because I didn't know, so... <sighs> oh well. This is our view from the bedroom. Having a bar for the night because I really wanted it. people um so currently we are heading for breakfast at the hotel Change and my cousin's currently at the toilet right now we're gonna head off to have a volcano walk um, it'll take about an hour at least to go there 
and after that we'll be heading for the floating market kind of like Thailand in a way and hopefully we can get manicures and pedicures at night So the volcano site that we visited was called Tukburan Barahu. So I just woke up from my nap with my cousin and we're both wearing our cardigans on because it's really chilly right here. We are currently at the volcanic crater. It was very foggy before but everything's cleared up right now. So as you can see, it looks like that. It's a bit smelly because of the sulfur so it feels like someone's like farting the whole time which is pretty not good. <laughs> but apart from that, it's very interesting so been to a volcanic crater. So this is known as Ratu Crater. It is the main crater and the biggest crater at the natural park of Tangupan Brahu Mount area. It is shaped like a large bow of the crater with a depth of about 500 meters above the crater. They also have various shops that sells merchandises and foods over there. So the next volcanic site that we were to visit was called the Domos and this was our tour guide. So the trees here has been soaked in the volcano lava, hence they were so black. And the design chopped off this tree was really interesting. The guy used it to make candle holders. And if you guys think walking down the volcano path is really easy, it's actually not. It was the hardest thing of my life. This is a stone created by the lava and it looks really cool. Not to forget, there were a lot of mushrooms grown at the site, such as magic mushrooms, small mushrooms, mushrooms that makes you high and stuff like that. And seeing that it was really misty, we couldn't see the other volcano as much. We just arrived at this other crater called Doma, and um. My legs are trembling from the walk because um, it was really steep and I don't like heights. I have like a height phobia sort of thing like when I go down the stairs. I always get scared like I might fall down the stairs and stuff. But um, yeah, this is like the other crater um, where you can walk on it. Walking on this was the hardest thing of my life. It was so pain with all the stones, you know, pricking into your shoes and when you walk it's not stable at all. I swear, I almost died. Mind you, the water here was like 400 Celsius which is really, really hot. If I ever drop inside, I'll be like a steam ass chicken. And due to a chemical reaction, the sulfur created sulfur crystals, which I think was really pretty. The yeast butter monkey. So apparently after the trees got exposed to the lava, their insides got into stone, hence they make this, which is really beautiful for souvenirs. Heading back to the car right now, yay! Um, my cousin and I are heading off to uh, the floating market right now. So halfway we decided to be driven by the horse. Um, to the floating market. Um, it's a bit unstable, but <laughs> it's pretty fun in the middle of the road with all the cars and everything. Arrived at the floating market safely. Do you guys like my flower? There were like so many goose coming out or walking about. And this is the area where they had a lot of stalls in the shape of a boat where they sell a lot of food stuff. Look at those vegetables, oh my god. My auntie, cousin and I decided to try out some banana and it was massive so it tasted okay, not too good. And there were also fishes swimming about everywhere. And it started to drizzle not too long after. And this was the house that Indonesia used to stay in.
We are currently having lunch right now at this village called uh, well, the Leaf Village. So it's very leafy right here. Um, our heart is like blended in with nature, so it's really nice. It feels like we're eating in the rainforest itself. So this was our fried rice, yummy yummy! I still find this crazy. Never going to for shopping! We are currently at this place called Rogers and we'll be doing our pedicures. Toenails painted after that. So my toenails now look really really gross which yeah I can't really do that myself so <laughs> I need a pedicure like instantly and um yeah my cousin's doing it with me so it'll be really fun. Don't you love how beautiful my nails look now? Headed off for dinner after that. The night view was really romantic. So we're currently at this restaurant called The Valley, which is like a really, really nice restaurant at the hilltop. So I can see like beautiful sceneries in the background. Really, really nice. Um, and we just ordered like the scallop barbecue and also um, this Korean rib barbecue as well for dinner. Uh, hey guys, good morning. So my cousin and I, we're just having a good suntan right now. It's awesome. Oh, I swear, the weather and like the heat and just everything is so, so relaxing and so nice. I'm so happy, but I didn't put some blocks, so hopefully my skin doesn't burn out. So today's breakfast was leaning more towards the western side. We're gonna be checking out the hotel right now, and yeah, we'll be heading out for more shopping after that, and we're flying up in the afternoon. This is really weird. We're currently having our lunch right now. We're going to be trying out the mee bakso, which is really, really yummy. Um, it's an Indonesian food, which is like soup and like noodles and with like beef mainly. I add a lot of ketchup and chili sauce to mine, which is why it looks so red. Headed off to the airport after that. We're just going to be checking in and taking our flight at 4.50 later. So it's raining heavily right now, so hopefully we have a safe flight. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. This is uh, one of my favorite teas uh, in Indonesia. It's called Teh Kotok, and it's like called box tea in other words. And the tea is jasmine tea, so when you drink it, it's so good. Oh god, my cousin and I are so sad of leaving Bandung. We don't want to leave Bandung at all. The plane is taking off right now and I'm going to miss Bandung a lot because it's a really really good um, place to go, to eat, to shop, um, the weather is really good even though when it rains I don't feel like the coldness is really warm and nice. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!